Victims of crime in our state could soon be left in the dark with no help and no resources. WRTV Investigates has uncovered the federal funding source meant to help them is running out of money. We're talking about the Victims of Crime Act or VOCA grants. The funding is expected to take a 40% cut, $1.2 billion compared to $1.9 billion last year. That's a $700 million reduction. WRTV Investigates Kara Kenny has been digging into what this could mean for prosecutors, victims, and your safety. Indiana is already facing an attorney shortage, not enough prosecutors to put criminals away. Cuts to VOCA grants will make things even worse. We traveled across the state to find out just how much worse. Estella Robles, here on the left, is a Lafayette mother and survivor of domestic violence. For years, she's relied on a YWCA program funded by VOCA grants. Noemi Lugo is a Hispanic advocate with the YWCA and is helping us translate for Estella. They have helped me with attorneys to pay everything. How big is that? Mucho. A lot. Mucho porque yo no podía pagarla. A lot because I wouldn't be able to do that myself. Victims often need help with divorce, protective orders, and immigration cases, and even basic needs like diapers and housing. VOCA grants pay for those services and Lugo's salary. Are you concerned about the potential cuts to these grants? Yes, of course, because one in three women is abused, so the need is very real. The Indiana Coalition to End Domestic Violence says Indiana's share of VOCA money has been decreasing since a peak in 2018. The money comes from penalties gathered in big federal criminal convictions. Indiana received $67 million in 2018. This year, Indiana got only $16 million in VOCA dollars. We're going to have doors close. We're going to have services end. Carrie Hyatt Bennett oversees 60 attorneys statewide who provide legal help to victims of domestic violence. She's concerned cuts to VOCA grants could mean people will stay in dangerous situations. I think study after study says it's one thing to get out of an abusive relationship. It's another thing entirely to stay out of an abusive relationship. VOCA grants help other types of crime victims too. Drunk driving, robbery, child abuse, sexual assault, to name a few. The Madison County Prosecutor's Office has six victim advocates who are partially or fully funded with VOCA grants, including Betsy Baxter. A big part of our job is just simply providing them with information in terms of the hearings that are going to happen, what kind of hearing that is, what the potential outcomes are. And if somebody's not doing that, what's the impact? I mean, victims do have rights. There's a great chance that those rights would be violated. So this could really slow down the criminal justice system. Absolutely. Even Absolutely. more slow than it is now, a lot of yes. victims say. <laughs> yes. Madison County Prosecutor Rodney Cummings is one of 49 Indiana prosecutors who signed on to this February 26th letter to Congress. It urges them to provide bridge funding to VOCA and prevent the collapse of America's victim service infrastructure. If Congress doesn't act, Madison County will lose at least two victim advocates. Could this make it more difficult to successfully prosecute crimes? Absolutely. Not having them on board with that will make it much more different, difficult. And our advocates are trained in those areas. Our, our prosecutors aren't necessarily trained in those to provide those sort of resources and help people understand. Well, and you, you probably don't, don't have, have the time. time. <laughs> exactly, don't have the time because there's so many cases. Our 2023 investigation, attorney shortage, showed only 11% of Indiana counties have adequate staffing to meet its workload. Losing VOCA grant dollars means prosecutors will have to take on even more. Absolutely impacts public safety. Indiana prosecutors and organizations that serve victims are also lobbying state lawmakers to make up the VOCA shortfall so people like Estella can get the help they need. Why speak out about this? Yeah. Because all of us are very afraid and that's why we stay quiet. Here at Kenny, WRTV.
We reached out to the federal agency that administers VOCA grants and we are still waiting to hear back. We also reached out to members of Congress and heard back from a few, including Democrat Andre Carson. His administration says will can he will continue to oppose these cuts and any cuts to programming that provides a lifeline for at risk communities. Senator Todd Young's office also says he supports increasing VOCA funding. His office telling us the fiscal year 2024 appropriations bills are still being negotiated by Congress and Senator Young is not a member of the Appropriations Committee.